This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. On this Thursday, the 28th of June, one more day, one and a half days to go. We wrap up this month, we wrap up this week. Oh, it's going to be an exciting finish to the to the end of the month. I can't tell you how many times. It usually happens in June over the years and years that I'm recalling. But the last couple of days, you think this is a terrible month. And then you have just a, a huge one or two days to wrap up the month. But that's usually when you're making a very serious low. This would be a counter trend rally. And as a result, I'm looking at this and saying the Dow's up 82 at 33,662. We are so short from the very day of the top. But we did get a rather aggressive, very short term trading along this morning. <clears throat> Fairly tight stop. I'm prepared to be stopped out. But I think there's enough room to make an H pattern right here. And that means. I don't know about 33,900 where the 200 period moving average is in the uh, uh, 200 period moving average of the daily Dow. But that's that that's a possible target over the next day or two if we manage to hold a gain today. S&P is up 11 to 42.85. There was a one to one expansion. It went a little bit beyond that. But it went under the 200 period moving average for two days. It's tackled that. This is the third day. It's using that as a support. It's got a little bit of a bounce. That weekly chart says it could be a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside still. We'll see what happens. And uh, in the E-mini, if I go to the continuous contract, that E-mini weekly went nine period moving f uh, under the 14 period, but not the cash. And cash is the king. So cash is still holding very nicely. Looking at the Q Q Q Q. There we go. Q Q Q up 68 cents at 355.74. Weekly chart doesn't look that great, but the nine period moving average is still well over the 14. Looking at the IWM, Russell 2000, nice move up, dollar 12 at 177.11, but way under the uh, daily and weekly 200 period moving average. Gold should be trying for a bounce here, but it is. It's up 0.3 at 1891. That is a terrible move. It's under the weekly 200 period moving average with a day to go for Friday's close. Looking at the crude oil. <clears throat> Crude oil uh, was up, now it's down a dollar at 92.70. I've got this as a peak C, we'll see if that's correct. And the TLT, <laughs> oh man, down 70 cents, yields are going even higher. I'll be back, Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour coming up. Check up my opening call daily newsletter. See you in a few minutes.